Okay, so first of all, go up to the bar here and type CMD and enter. And this will open up the Windows command prompt. Then you can type DIR, which stands for directory, and enter. And this will get you a list of all of the subfolders and files in this folder here. And it will also get you the date modified and the file size. Now, if I type DIR forward slash B, B stands for bear. And when I press enter now, I'll get a list of all of the subfolders and files, but without any of the extra information. And you can now click and drag to select all of this, then press Ctrl C to copy, open up Excel and Ctrl V to paste. And now you have a list of all of your files in an Excel spreadsheet. Now you can also press the up arrow to get a copy of whatever it is you most recently typed in the Windows command prompt. Then I'm going to add here a pipe symbol and clip. And this will take the directory and pipe it onto the clipboard. And the clipboard is just whatever you most recently copied. So when I press enter now, I can go back to Excel and control V to paste and get another copy of this list of files without having to actually click and drag to select them all. Now you can also type DIR forward slash B, the greater than symbol, and then file names dot XLS. And this will create a Excel spreadsheet called file names. Then it will take the directory or the list of files and put it into this spreadsheet. And XLS is the old version of the Microsoft Excel file extension which is what you need to use in this case. And so when I press enter, it will create a new spreadsheet here for me, and I will open this. And it will throw up this warning message that says the file format doesn't match the extension. That's fine, just select yes. And now we have the same list of files again, only this time they're in a spreadsheet called file names. Now you'll also notice that there are some subfolders here and they all have files in them as well. And in order to get a list of these files, we need to type DIR forward slash S and the S stands for subfolders or subdirectories and enter. And now here I have a list of all of the files that are in the folder called May and all of the files that are in the folder called July, and the files in the folder called August. And then up here is the original list of files that are in this folder here. And we can combine these together. So I can do DIR forward slash B forward slash S and enter. And this gets me a list of all of the files in all of the subfolders. And then the folder path is in front of the file name. Now if I do DIR forward slash B again, you'll notice that this list is in alphabetical order. So we have August here and July and May. However, in this list here in File Explorer, you'll see that all of the folders are at the top. So in order to change the order, we need to do DIR forward slash B and then add forward slash O. And the O stands for order. And now when I press enter, I get all of the folders at the top of my list. Now you can also do DIR forward slash B forward slash A colon D and enter. And that gets a list of just the folders. And then A dash D gets a list of all of the files, but none of the folders. And that is because in this case, A stands for attribute, and then D stands for directory, which is what Windows command prompt calls its folders. So A colon D is telling it to show me a list of all of the folders, and then A dash D is telling it not to show me any of the folders, to show me everything except for the folders. 
And now let's say you didn't want to find all of the different file types. You only wanted to find a particular type of file. So say if I wanted to find just the PDF documents, I would do dir forward slash b and then the star symbol dot PDF. And the star symbol or the asterisk is a wildcard character and it can represent anything. So what this is telling it is to search for all of the files that have a .pdf file extension. And now when I press enter, it will get me a list of just the two PDF documents that are in this file here. Now there are actually lots of different options when using DIR. If I type help DIR and enter, and then enter again to load the rest of the page, you'll see a list of all of the different options here and what they do. And I will also include a link in the description to a web page that has a more detailed explanation. But whatever combination of letters you choose, you can copy the list of file names and paste it into Excel, just like I showed you at the beginning. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to copy a list of files from a folder into Excel using Windows Command Prompt, and that is everything.